Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiterter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. We have here an emergency appointment that we booked for a seven-year-old young girl and they were extremely distressed and severe pain. As you can see, they've got this really immediately impacted, hard, dry earwax plug right up against their eardrum. They had been treated earlier by um, another specialist and they, although they managed to remove some earwax, they weren't able to remove this more deeper plug of wax. And it was very uncomfortable for the patient. And they uh, obviously researched myself and we booked them in for the same day um, after work. And bless her, she was so amazing. But as soon as I touched this wax plug, you can see both with the sucker and with the ear hook, I, I really didn't apply much pressure. But as soon as you make the slightest contact with the surface of this wax, it's really uncomfortable. So I decided to instill some sodium bicarbonate earwax drop for five minutes, and it did soften and break up this um, earwax plug slightly. And I'm also using a fine end, because with the full zolna suction probe, as soon as you make contact with that, it, the patient's literally almost off the seat, uh, uh, experiencing severe pain. I'm just trying to go to the front of the ear plug here. And the root cause of this impaction, um, the, the patient did advise me that their father was using a cotton bud trying to remove this wax. And uh, it just uh, inadvertently pushed it further deeper into the ear. And that was the root cause. I then decided just to sit the patient back in the waiting area for, um, it was after the, the clinic had closed, so it was just them and um, my father. And I just asked the patient to lay down and I just put the drops in for 20 minutes. So I really wanted to get this removed for her today, given how much um, pain she was experiencing. And when you put sodium bicarbonate drops for that long of time, it is gonna have more of an impact. And although the wax plug is still relatively hard, it has just softened the surface of this plug. And this was still quite uncomfortable with the patient, but I was just reassuring her that we are uh, slowly re re retracting this wax plug out of the ear. And you will see um, why it was so painful once I removed this plug. Not only was it, of course, impacted against the drum, which will be uncomfortable anyway, but there was um, a real sore spot at the back part of her ear canal, and no doubt when the cotton bud went into the ear, it pushed the wax plug and it, it abrased that region of the ear. So every time I'm applying pressure on the wax plug just to suction it out, it's rubbing against that. So the key here is I'm just trying to get a suction grip with minimal force. I'm just hovering over this wax plug, kissing the surface. The patient wasn't uh, too keen on me using the full zone of suction probe, but I did explain this. Um, I'm just going to have to try and remove it with this. And... Here, I've just about got the faint of the suction grips. I just lost it there momentarily. But what I'm going to do now is just wriggle this forwards. And again, I did lose the suction grip there. In the core of that wax plug, you can see where it's been pushed in, the indentation made by the cotton bud. And you may have seen just at the entrance of the ear, the patient has got a bit of a sore spot there, a bit of granulation tissue. In that region of the ear, they've been scratching because the ear's been so painful. They're trying to loosen this plug out of the ear on their own, uh, by themselves. And it did bleed the other night. Um, so that naturally, the patient and her father were worried that she did some damage deeper in the ear. But fortunately, it was just near the entrance. And I'm just trying again. And this time, I've got the suction grip and... I'm slowly coming away and you can see that wax plug moving. The surface of this wax plug looks so rough like sandpaper. So even whilst I'm bringing this forwards, it's rubbing against the side of the ear canal causing a bit of discomfort for the patient. But there we are, managed to remove that. So that's the patient's eardrum. Um, now the eardrum was retracted, it was sucked in. You can see the hammer bone, it's pointing towards us. And there's a sore spot on the back part of the ear canal. Um, it's not on the eardrum, it's just on the ear, um, on the ear canal. Uh, the patient has got eustachian tube dysfunction, so we've recommended the Otovent nasal balloons and nasal decongestants. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well.